What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we have got the Manchester United pack. We're going to just do a cheeky spin opening right off the bat, and hopefully, oh my god, first spin for the win, just as we're doing this video. That is mad. If we get Casemiro or Wambasaka, it's a huge, huge win here, and it looks like it could be Casemiro. Oh no, it's Ericsson. It's Ericsson. Not the best, not the worst, but obviously it will kick things off. We will probably spin. I really want to, I do want to get wan -Bissaka. Honestly, I know I don't really need him, but wan has probably been my favorite player to use lately. I mean, he just is the perfect blend of speed, power, and this card that we have. Eriks is not a bad card as a DMF. I would definitely train him up as a kind of an attacking option. Um, but yeah, that's definitely not the worst spin for, for one 10 pack. But anyway, we will spin the rest of those on our live stream. We'll be back tomorrow instead of today. Um, but the rest of these cards that you have here are in a selection. We also have Minu as well, who's going to be on the eFootball Point shop. And they are the rest of the cards. Now, I'm not going to spend too long on these. I will have the training guides at the end of the video um, just very quickly that you can pause the video or whatever, just their builds. But Onana, McTominay, Harry Maguire, Mason Mount and Anthony. They're all very, very average in terms of what else is out there. Again, I feel like I need to kind of preface every video that I do for newcomers as well as people that have been playing the game for a long time. If you do not have a better goalkeeper than Onana, then obviously he's going to be an improvement. If you haven't been playing this game for that long, he's obviously going to be an improvement. But if you've been playing the game for even longer than a month, or you have a bit of GP saved up from just grinding against the AI events, you can buy GP variant goalkeepers um, that will be as good, if not better, than Onana. I mean, he just doesn't train up that well. Uh, obviously, he's going to have the reflexes and stuff. It's not a bad card at all, but as I said, I will show you the build at the end. McTominay's an interesting one, apart from the fact that he's on D rating. Um, that's a bit of a pity. He is a good box-to-box. -box. He's got some really good player skills, as well as soul control there. Long-range shooting, way to pass through, passing low lofted. You can add a few more to him if you want such as one touch but he has area superiority and fighting spirit McTominay is a guy that you'll either like really 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 dominate with or he'll do nothing for you he's kind of like that in between uh very very nice aggression balance is very poor but you're not going to be really running and gunning with this guy you know stamina aggression passing and a bit of physicality that's all you really need from this kind of defensive box to box you also have the same with uh Maguire Maguire is just literally too slow to even train up even if you put all his points in with those 29 levels you're still going to have that that inconsistent form you're also going to have blocker and interception and area of superiority but you don't have acrobatic clearance you don't have anything else for the pass and apart from way to pass he doesn't have slide and tackle so you'd have to give him a little bit and with that pace you can get these defensive stats with a player like this um with those you know speed stats as well so yeah he's probably one of the worst ones there you also have mason mount mount is okay he's on b rating this week um i mean whole players they're just a dime a dozen in this game <coughs> excuse me um you've got so many things that you can do with this mount card though flip flap added on as an additional skill will give you ball roll if you're into that sort of dribbling and uh trickery uh no look pass low loft the true passing i mean this card is probably a little bit overpowered um but the speed and acceleration and balance does tie this back as an attacking midfielder option there's just way better options there even if you're just buying standard cards like pedri pedri is an absolute demon at the moment we also have amrabat and martinez so martinez and anthony are kind of uh, two players that are just a little bit better than the other guys that we just mentioned. Um, Anthony's speed is not that lightning here. He's on inconsistent form as well. He's missing a couple of player skills, but he does have scissors faint and flip flap. He doesn't have double touch. He doesn't have ball roll. He doesn't have... Um, he does have soul control and flip flap but he doesn't have double touch so you'll need that to get ball roll sorry um dip and shot heel trick first time shot he's got some good shooting uh skills but not shooting stats so again um you can just see there with a slightly updated model for him his inconsistent form coupled with all of those i think you don't really need to worry too much about wingers once you have a bit of pace if you're cutting in um amarbat as well just a bit slow not actually as slow as i thought he would be but he's kind of like the the, the kind of worst Casemiro option doesn't have the engine of Casemiro doesn't have the player skills of Casemiro and obviously doesn't have the levels to go up but a fairly good option as well to get around the pitch box to box uh, which is fairly nice 30 levels very nice card fairly standard card for what you're getting with a DMF now um, just kind of blocking the ball and, and just kind of moving it through, the, through the, the ranks I suppose or through the team Martinez apart from his lack of height which isn't really an issue in this game at the moment because 90% of people are going to play on the ground I've yet to come up against somebody 
somebody that has played consistently, um, you know, into a target man or consistently into uh, kind of like an aerial target for knockdowns. You know, it's very, very rare. You're talking about maybe one in 25 games um, that you that that will happen to you. And if that happens, I mean, even Martinez here, he's got 80 jumping that can go up 10 very easily. We'll show you the build for him. He's actually got some nice player skills, bit of a bit of a player as well. Um, with the passing and the tight possession I feel like if you haven't got Lissandro Martinez even though I wouldn't really recommend him for like mid to end game teams or squads I definitely think you should try him out because he is a very unique player with the passing and the dribbling he just feels very smooth for a CB that's bringing us on to kind of the rest of the three boys here we have Dallow just to round it off again you know what you're getting with Dallow he's an attacking right back uh, or left back I don't like the fact that he has no player skills apart from interception you're going to need a lot to tr throw into him but it's an okay card again you've got the high speed good acceleration good uh, stamina a poor balance but you don't really need that i don't think to be running i mean that's really only for dribblers uh, unless you're coming you know like shoulder to shoulder with players um that's not going to really matter too much because it's you know you can get away with it but yeah if you do spin for him he's definitely worth having a look at um but yeah i mean i feel like they're just better kind of fullbacks in the game at the moment now we are going to take a look at mine as well but first we will take a look at ericsson here very very nice card i'm actually probably he's probably the weakest of the three um between him ericsson and wambasak is the big time but with the booster he's got some really nice player skills he can pass he can shoot he can do it all his low pass is 86 straight off the rip so that's going to go into the mid 90s speed and acceleration and balance are going to be getting a boost as well so this is actually a fairly decent box to box i wouldn't play him defensively i would play him as a center midfielder so i play him beside either a single pivot dmf or anchorman or whatever and then i would genuinely put him in a more attack and roll kind of like an orchestrator box to box or a kind of attack and box to box if that makes sense we'll have a look at his build in a second but that is a fairly decent card with all the the build that you have there and then we have Casemiro so Casemiro is definitely probably the top pick in this Wambasaka obviously is a right back but he won't be involved in the action as much as a right back so if you do get one player I think Casemiro is the top pick here simply based on the fact that DMF is probably the most important position in your squad and on the pitch unless you're playing you know three DMFs or something like that and you're just really kind of like uh you know stacking the deck in midfield to really dominate midfield and just block everything but you know he's he's tall enough to block shots he's not as op or as like you know strong or meta as Vieira or Rijkaard they're in a different league themselves um because of their you know unique animations with their long legs you know Casemiro doesn't have that height uh with 185 cm he doesn't seem to block as much he's kind of like Declan Rice in midfield um but it's a very very good card we'll show you the ultimate build for him as well in wavering form you've got aggression tackling speed and acceleration is not too bad because all you're going to be doing is sitting Casemiro deep 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 in midfield as a kind of an extra center back you know that when he's defending he's back as a center back with deep line on or defensive on or just manually positioning him and he's a fairly decent option for that not as good as Riker and Vieira though in my opinion and then last but not least we have Wamba Saka we will take a look at Mainu as well uh, who's available for free in the eFootball Point store but Wamba Saka here is definitely an absolute demon his booster is really really nice with shutdown defensive awareness tackling defensive engagement and speed I mean you couldn't get a better right back than this guy honestly double touch uh on him as well interception blocker sliding tackle fighting spirit man marking and acrobatic clearance he has everything apart from aerial superiority which again you don't really need aerial superiority now because most people play on the deck you know they keep it on low uh passing and you know ping pong around the place but look at his level one stats a lot of the time when i'm looking at a card Forgetting about the manager boost, I will do a video on that uh, as to why I don't really take consideration uh, for the manager boost and their actual own booster. I just look at the player at level one and see how many stats he has close to 80, and that is usually a good sign. And you can see here that Wamba Saka has got pretty much all his tackling, all his uh, aggression and defensive engagement, as well as speed, acceleration, and stamina all near the 80 mark. It's a phenomenal card. So I definitely would uh, take a look at him if you do spin him. Now, we also have, just to quickly show you this, over on the eFootball Point shop. Finally, they've added a fairly decent upgraded player of Mainu here. Um, and as you can see, he is actually quite decent. Now, he doesn't have that many levels compared to where you need to bring him. But it's a nice free card. I mean, you can get him for free. Um, he's got some very, very decent stats. Very, very decent uh, player uh, skills as well. We're going to sign him straight off the rip here and get him for 5,000 eFootball Points and we're going to definitely be testing him out and see what he's actually like because i do feel like that he is going to be a bit of a baller 
usually when they add players like this they give him a little bit of a buff um, and I definitely think that he can be a beast and we're going to show you the training guides for literally all of these players here now really quickly and just let the video end out there so you can pause the video on any of these builds that you see here uh, I mean they're fairly self-explanatory you've got Dallo there you've got Lissandro Martinez with all his defensive stats 12 into defending you've got Amrabat of course as well 12 into defending and the rest kind of divvied up there they're really like Anthony dribbling dexterity you don't have any passing or shooting with Anthony but you've got insane dribbling stats with all of those stats into the 90s including balance and acceleration as I said as you can pause these at any stage here just to get the builds because there's no point spending too much time on them they are right there for you um, and these are obviously going to get the boosters as well as uh, these players now Mainu here is very interesting 90 type possession 94 balance 90 acceleration 81 low pass 86 dribbling it's a very very strong card it's not as strong as you know the likes of Pedri or any of those but it definitely is a very good starting card for Mainu to have if you want to get him in your squad I'll definitely play with him and especially on Road to Glory there's Casemiro there as well phenomenal card you're going to have all his defense stats into the 90s and speed is going to be at 80 as well with the boosts so it is going to be a very very strong Casemiro card I feel and then also Ericsson who we spun for there exceptional on the ball quality don't use him as a defensive don't be you know asking him to do that but the rest of his stats are really good and then Wan Bissaka here at the end as well who is down as a 95 right back we'll go to 97 with the boost so yeah it's a very very strong card R98 but yeah look at all those defensive stats with 90 speed this is the meta at the moment and it has been for a while is to have very versatile right backs or center backs that have these defensive stats so that is it for me boys I will be back later on and we will talk to you then hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe